I'm working on a documentary movie called Life of an Outlaw. Where it's basically about my life before Islam, before Tupac, before the street life. I got more out here by the Southern Council, so I want to thank them as well, Sadiq, Emma, and the rest of the homies. Um, basically, I'm here to give you guys a little background on my life. Some of you guys might be familiar where I come from or familiar with my music in the past. And I'm sure the majority of you guys probably never heard of me before. You said the meaning of translating in English. Worthy of worship, worthy of worship, and truth, and truth. Except Allah alone, except Allah alone. And I'll be a witness, and I'll be a witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad is a slave and messenger. Is a slave and messenger. That's how you become Muslim. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of the youth, they going towards the lifestyle that many people in America, we are running away from. Many of us in America, we know that that lifestyle, that gangster lifestyle, that street lifestyle, we know that that is an evil lifestyle. But some of the Muslim youth, unfortunately, they run towards that lifestyle as if they see something in that lifestyle that we didn't see. We are very pleased that Sadar guys took this step to bring him over here. In America, you get released from prison, you don't have a place to go, you're homeless. That's your business. So one of the things they don't, the, op the options that we have, they don't truly really too much have any options. And poverty play a big role in it. Drugs play a big role. That's why when you go to America and they did an interview with some individuals, hardcore gangsters, and say, we give y'all free education when you stop. Majority of them say, yeah, if you, even if you give me a job, I'll stop selling drugs. I'm one of the trustees and the founder mem member of this mosque. And uh, we are very pleased to see him. I ask him a few questions. What makes him to ma become a Muslim? And he told me all that, that he was looking for happiness. And he found in the Qurans that that's the true religion. You take him to Los Angeles, and you take him to Compton, and you actually and let them hear some of the stories, some real stories. Mm. I think it might make them think. Hello, I'm Mustafa. I come from North London, um, somewhere called Barnet. I'm 11. How did, what did you think of Mukta? Mukta, I was very impressed with him, inspired. This visit was unique because basically, it basically touched everything. It touched the youth, it touched the religious aspects, a part of it, from the Christians, the Muslims. I met Hindus, I met Sikhs, I met young people, I met old people, white people, black people. So I felt like this trip I got a lot accomplished and I was able to speak to all types of crowds. So I think this was definitely unique, definitely. It's by me how, um, because you see lots of youths, my friends themselves, some of them are Islamic and, um, they, are, they start saying, oh, I've seen 50 Cent's new song, Soldier Boy's new song, anything. And I used to be actually impressed with that. But actually, when I saw someone who done what 50 Cent does, yeah, what Soldier Boy does, and he tells me that he doesn't feel happy about it, that's when I see the truth. I wish to take this opportunity to thank our brother for his wonderful lecture. Alhamdulillah, today, uh, Everyone present here has many things to go home with, inshallah, if only making it into practice.